I'm gonna go with the smart man, Indiana Jones. Oh. Indiana Jones. Am I the last one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I gotta pick Rambo just because nobody else has picked any Stallone. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to some more exciting opening round action of Action Wars. On my right, Michael Truly is defending Rambo. Uh, John Rambo. John Rambo. Jonathan Rambo. Jonathan Rambo. <laughs> and on my left, Casey's got himself some Indiana Jones. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you? Yes. Good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So, as per usual, what you're going to get is you're going to get two minutes for opening arguments, one minute for rebuttal, and then you're just going to yell at each other for a little bit. Cool? Are we required to yell, or can we make an agreement not to yell? You don't have to yell. We can have a civilized a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, yeah. then you'll, well, let's you'll try converse that. civilly for, okay. as, you know, for a little bit. Wonderful. Casey, okay, so you got two minutes. It's going to start right now. Go. <sighs> what makes a great action hero? Well, you got the action. Obviously, you need to be a man of action. And who isn't a man of action but Indiana Jones, gallivanting across the globe, having adventures, saving damsels, and fighting the Nazis. You know, he should probably be on the, um, the heroic side. I mean, that makes sense, right? He's got to be morally good. And what's more good than fighting the polar opposite on the morality scale? Uh, I.e. Uh, Nazis and uh, the KGB, which he's done plenty of times. Uh, the guy's suave without having to be misogynistic. Uh, he's bookish, yet rugged. Uh, he doesn't have these preset ideas of masculinity that you know, some other characters might have. He's not antiquated in any way. He will be carried throughout the end of time as an amazing action hero. Uh, what is, does he use giant guns? The, does he need that to feel good about himself? No, of course not. He uses the game of fisticuffs as well as a giant bullwhip. Damn, he's so good. The guy's, the guy's noble. Uh, he always wants to save culture because, you know, it belongs in a museum, right? Uh, he also fights uh, that voodoo guy. I don't know what his deal was. He's really into child slavery. He saved all those kids. That's a good plus. The thing is, he is a man of action and he is a hero. That's something that John Rambo just isn't. Sorry. Okay, truly, you got two minutes. Starts right now, go. Look, I feel like Rambo is a better action hero than Indiana Jones, but this isn't really about feeling. This is about cold, hard scientific fact. Rambo has killed 129 people with his shirt on and 91 people with his shirt off, which is awesome. In fact, the Rambo movies are so focused on action that if they made a fifth one, they would need to kill more than 578 people to continue their rate of on-screen deaths. That is an action movie. Now, I would like to see uh, my competitor here tell me how many deaths uh, Indiana Jones has uh, has accumulated in his kill notch. But that, there's that guy. No, that's fine, because it's still my time. Rambo is not a man of words, he's a man of action. A true action hero. Sure, Indy's whip and fedora are iconic, but how many kids grabbed a piece of fabric and tied it around their head because there wasn't a haberdasher nearby? <laughs> Dozens in the 80s. All you had to do was tie a piece of fabric, grab a stick, and you, you were the action hero, and that gave us the great movie, Son of Rambo, which was an indie darling. He literally explodes a <laughs> He literally explodes a man with an arrow in Rambo First Blood Part Two. It, th th that is action. I, if you don't understand, a okay, here's how we're gonna break it down. I respect that Indiana Jones is a great character, possibly a better character than Rambo, but Indiana Jones as an action hero is laughable. The Indiana Jones movies are pulp adventures, not action movies. Sure, there may be some gunplay, but dodging traps, exotic locales, rickety bridges, puzzles, rats, snakes, these are all elements of Indiana Jones, and these are not action elements. They are adventure elements. And to call Indiana Jones a hero, well, that's just some real white colonial bullshit. To say this handsome, respectable white professor knows what to do with the country's cultural antiquities better than they do is more than irresponsible, it's criminal and racist. Ah. <laughs> all right, you got one minute, Casey. It starts right now, go. I, I don't think you can call him a man of action. I think Rambo is more of a man of overreaction. Uh, you get this crusty old Korean war vet who kind of treats you like dirt, granted, but then you're gonna go to the town and just mutilate everybody? It just, it doesn't seem, 
Oh, 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 oh he mutilates. Yeah, he guns. mutilates. Trust me. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Please, don't Please question, don't question it. <laughs> It'll make it much easier. You have 30 seconds. Uh, he certainly doesn't have the hero aspect. Uh, he operates in a morally gray area, and he attacks our boys in blue who are just doing their jobs. I mean, in their perspective, they, he's just an escaped uh, uh, convict that they're trying to apprehend. Now, is he sympathetic? Of course he is. But he's a cautionary tale. He's not a hero. Truly, your rebuttal ready to go? They dishonored an American war vet. Mutilate? That's ridiculous. In fact, the only death in the original First Blood is because Rambo threw a rock at a helicopter. And not a hero? He saves numerous, numerous prisoners of war that were going uh, unnoticed and unrescued by our country. You know what? He doesn't hate this country. He'll die for this country, and he says so to Troutman. To say that he is not a hero is to say that the United States is not a country that is worthy of living in. Freestyle. Casey, get hey, us going. You get, say... Casey, get us going. Uh, uh, now? Go. Okay, go. <laughs> Time starts now. now. Okay. It's not. It's on time now. Oh, we're sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, now I'm ready for you. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> You say that Rambo's uh, going out to rescue these POWs like it was a noble cause, but in Rambo, I'm sorry, is not bringing our boys home. It was a not noble a noble cause? cause. No, in Rambo too. The only in reason the war he in got... Afghanistan, hey, in hey. the war in Iraq, bring our brothers <laughs> no. and our fathers home. He... Bring our husbands and and our sons back to us. You done? Yeah. In Rambo 2, he goes to Vietnam, not because he thinks it's the right thing to do, but he just wants to get out of jail free card. And then in Rambo uh, because 3... Because it's a mission? No. They he's wanted him prison. out of He's in prison. Troutman says, hey, I can get you out if you come do this thing. And he's like, no, okay. And then mm -hmm. he goes and does it. Rambo 3, he goes to Afghanistan to rescue Troutman after he tells Troutman he didn't want to go in the first place to help him out. So then mm -hmm. Troutman gets into some trouble and he's like, I guess I'll go save him. Yeah, it's and pretty then great. I like when my friends don't want to help me, but then they help me anyway. That's how I know who my true friends are. Well, no, he doesn't help him. Then his friend gets in some shit and he feels guilty about it. It's not noble. And then in perfect. Rambo 4, again, he brings these missionaries to a really crappy area in Burma and then they he get He told captured. them not to go there. Yeah, but then they're like, let's go. And he's like, no, against my better judgment, I'll take you. And then he takes I'm them sorry, there and they get promoting fascism where nobody should make their own choices, only the person who okay, okay, knows okay. better. No, no, don't because that's words, weird, don't because you know who words. else was really focused on taking antiquities away from countries? Were Nazis. So it's weird that there's a parallel between Indiana Jones and the Nazis, and what he's really fighting is himself. But the Nazis wanted to use it for bad things. He just wants people to look at it. He just and doesn't like, think oh. the people that have it deserve it. Now, hey, in Temple of Doom, he brings it back to the villagers. They get all their stuff back. He doesn't take it to Britain. That's fair. In Good. Temple of Doom, he does return the stones. You're right. He does return the gross-looking stones that yeah. he knows nobody's going to pay money to come to a museum to They're see. They're full of magic. Come on. Yeah. If they were gold stones, he wouldn't give them back. Rambo is an antiquated action hero. He's so huge. Uh, no, and yet, no Indiana Jones is not even an action hero in an adventure movie. In fact, if you look at the Rambo movies, uh, they average, uh, I'll just look at my sheet here. Come, there is 0. 0.72 people killed a minute in First Blood Part Two, 1.3 people killed per minute in Rambo 3, and 2.59 people killed per minute in Rambo 4. That is an action movie. That is an action no, dude, movie. I, no, why? Since when does action equal murder? Indiana Jones spends more time talking and playing with monkeys that may or may not be eating poison dates than he does shooting people dead because they're enemies of the free world. You don't have to shoot people dead to you be an action You do if you want to win. Absolutely not. I would like to point out that in Rambo First Blood Part 2, he shoots a bunch of guns, then uses a bow and arrow, then uses a bow and arrow with an explosive tip, then jumps into the water, jumps out of the water, into a helicopter, punches a dude, then uses the helicopter to shoot a bunch of people, lands the helicopter, then gets out with a gun and starts shooting people. Like, this is all, you, you ticking your, all your check marks are ticked. Indiana Jones has his own ride at Disneyland where you get to be Indiana Jones and have an action adventure. What would a Rambo ride look like? Uh, well, you would, it would, you would pay $20,000. They would put you on a helicopter, take you to Miramar. And then it's like a real life experience where they turn you loose and it's, have you ever seen the movie The Game? Yeah. They drop you and you're not sure what's real and what's not. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody, get down in the comments and let us know who won this thing. There's a comment down there that says, like this comment if Indiana Jones wins. 
There's another comment that says, like this comment if Jonathan Rambo wins. Also, make sure to check out our other Action War debates that are up this week. There are two other ones for three in total. There's Dutch versus James Bond, and there's Neo versus Beatrix Kiddo. So go check out those debates. Let us know who won. Come back next week to see who makes the semifinals at Action Wars. I'd just like to point out that Indiana Jones leads the Nazis to the Ark.